Okie dokie. Uh, last time we continued six, world six, and uh, both things ended with like a a puzzle that challenged the rules that I I come up with from the previous puzzles, which is uh, kind of scary because you have to then figure something out from one puzzle that if you if you guess correctly, <laughs> you've accidentally solved the entire level. Let's do six nine then. Um, five dots. Are you mad? Are you mad? Now that's interesting. The way they they get very different sets. Okay, so um, that works. That doesn't work. Middle ones don't go through triangles. Feels right. First one, starts in a circle. Okay, I think the first three are just simple. And then the third one's gonna be, sorry, second one's gonna be end on the square. Seems like it. I can't find another way. Okay, so start circle, end on the square, avoid triangles, something to do with symmetry in, those, in these last two rules. Yes? Okay, so that breaks it. That's fine. No, sorry, that's not fine. That's fine. That's not fine. Hmm, okay. Right, of course that's not fine. But that's fine for the last two. I need to at some point, if I don't get this quickly, I have to th go back and think about the last two rules by themselves, ignoring where I'm starting and ending or whether I'm going through the triangles. The problem is that sometimes the other rules are kind of, not, not conditional on it, but there'll be a rule like, oh, regions with triangles in. Or maybe there won't. Maybe there'll always be a rule which is regions that are outside your line have to have some property, and it's just in combination with the other one that they have to have triangles in. Hmm. So that works. That works. Horizontally symmetric triangle region? Then that would work. Oh, that does work for those two. Sure, let's go with that. Um. I mean, that is horizontally symmetric. This is the last one? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll go back and figure out if I've actually understood the rules, but... Oh, sorry, I need to actually end at the square. Um, end at the square. That means what? I mean, I might still be able to do it, right? Hmm, there may be a problem. Mm -hmm. It's one of the rules that every region must have a triangle in it. It might be. What if I do a kind of, well, if I'm filling in all this, if I'm going around the edge, then I'm going around the other edge. Therefore, I have to cross over at some points, so either here or here. So those are going to be filled in. Well, that's horizontally symmetric, I guess. Okay, I think I've got the rules. This uh, this feels like a like an earlier level. I think. I mean, I can't really remember what the earlier levels were. So I know what those three are. So then I think one of them is every region must have a triangle in it. Every outside region must have a triangle in it, which I think is the fourth rule. If I do, I can't, mm, oh yeah, I can do that. The fourth rule doesn't work. The fourth rule does work in that situation. That's weird. Hmm, let's go to one where I can actually split up the triangles. Um, like that, fourth rule doesn't work. Fourth rule does work, yes. 
or every triangle must be in an outside region. I think it's phrased that way round, which makes, uh, where was it that I did that weird thing? Um, like that. Every triangle, every, yeah, every triangle must be in a region. Or all, all in the same region? Yes, all triangles must be in the same region. That would be one way to phrase it where this would be true. And then I think the other one's just the symmetry rule. Okay, cool. Um, interesting. That, yeah, that was strange. That felt like a much easier one. 610. The first ones don't go through circles. Second one is keep the circles together. Third one's the symmetry rule. Don't go through circles, keep them together. Oh, okay. Do we have lots of different shapes or just circles? Oh, yeah, we have lots of different shapes, I think. Okay. So, keep them together. Hmm, don't keep them together. Well, yes, keep them together, but do something different. Mm hmm, okay. Rotational symmetry of the shape that they're in. Maybe the positions matter this time. Like, because they are, like, that's rotationally symmetric with itself, and the circles match. Okay, could that just be do that for all shapes? I feel like I've done this one. I really feel like I've done this one. Okay, I can leave spaces open. I guess because that empty space is also matching my property. So those have to, okay. Uh, that and that. That and that. Oh, okay, just do them all in separate things. No. Ah, because that, that one is to do with uh, keeping the shapes together. So I have to keep the shapes together and somehow, oh, probably it's okay if, yep, the shapes are mixed. Okay, okay, got it. Um, so you two have to go together. So do you, I mean, that'll do, won't it? Yep. You have to go together, you have to go together, you have to go together. If I put these together, then rotationally, they're not gonna, so they're all going just, you know, by themselves. I bet the next one swaps like a square and a triangle. Nope. Okay, that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, so rotation, okay. I mean, there could be five tall bits as well. There we go. Cool. Then, you and you rotationally symmetric with each other. Um, uh, 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 uh. And you and you, so that, I'm gonna end like that at the end. Okay, hold on, I can, ooh. How am I gonna get those two squares together? Like I can see, ooh, okay, I just need to do things backwards. Um, starting from there, such a weird starting position. Uh, yay. Like just starting in the middle of a shaded in space. It's so strange, but yeah, that works. I guess I could have stopped here. Yeah, okay, there's a few places I could have started. So this is probably gonna require that two of the shapes do go together somehow. But I can't put the circle with the square, the circles with the square, because then rotationally symmetric they won't be. <laughs> what a weird way to say that. <laughs> uh, I can't put the triangle, yeah, no, there's no way these could go together, right? If you put anything with anything else, the rotational symmetry is not going to work. Yep, because for that to work, these would have to be rotationally symmetric around the triangle, but they're clearly not. Similarly with the circles. Okay, I think I'm just I'm just uh, doing something relatively simple like this and this, which would make that and that my start and end. 
I mean, maybe it's doable. Because so I could also go around this triangle. I couldn't fill in every space. But I could do that. Okay. Whoa. So where's my other end? Here. Okay, so if I do this, I'm obviously leaving a lot back there, but I can come all the way around. I still think I could fill in, uh, no. Okay, so hold on, uh, 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 like that, I'm gonna end like that. And I want to fill in that at some point, that can't happen right now, can it? Well, it can if I don't care about the other space I'm leaving, which I, Oh, yeah, that's, so that's not good. Okay. Right. I was kind of ignoring the triangle. I was thinking, oh, make a rotationally symmetric shape that's not with the shapes included. What shape could I do down there then? I don't think I could loop around that and do all of this, but then potentially these shapes are going to be different. Are they? How could they be different? And they could go like away, do a weird thing like, no, 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 because then I'd come down here. I think that is those shapes. And then just, how do I do the triangle? Does it have to be, like it could be a three, like, uh, there. But I have to start and end there if I'm doing these two shapes. I don't think there's any way around. No, no, there is a way around that. Of course there is. So, uh, 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 right, six question mark. Uh, I'll try and say stuff this time. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I, I always feel like with these question marks, I should just like do a bunch of stuff and see if stuff moves in weird ways. Do I push? Whoa, okay, there we go. That's why I have to go and do stuff. Look what's happening there. Look what's happening. Why does that? Why did that start on this one and this one only? So clearly, I've got two symmetrical lines going on. So I, there's probably like both lines have to meet some rules. Maybe the two lines have separate rules. Oh, oh, wait, that's not drawn by. Yeah, I got it. Oh my god, that's clever. <laughs> okay, so two matches with seven, no, with six. So take my two solution, rotate it? No, flip it horizontally. Two, flip it horizontally, you get that. The reason four had both of them on is because four, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm horizontally flipping the levels themselves with each other. That is very cool. <laughs> okay. So I have to do something. I don't know what the other rules are going to be. I have to do something that satisfies. If I do a solution on here, it's going to be on the last one. But presumably then I need to do something here. So, okay, let's figure out what the other rules are, I guess. Is one of them start in the square? It may be, and the other one may be end on the circle. And then the other one Interesting that the star ruins everything. Fourth one might be don't go through stars. As soon as I go through that star, it's gone. Mm-hmm. So then what's what do we need for triangle? I'll just go through all triangles probably. Okay. So this will also work. Yeah. Right. Um but then how does the other line come into play? Because I've already got all the rules. Is it 
do I have to match the line? Because this would be a no, this would be a solution. It is a solution. Why is the other line relevant? Do I guess my solutions are symmetric there? I need symmetric. I need rotationally symmetric solutions to both. Uh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's so much symmetry going on here. Okay, uh, square to circle going through triangles. Hmm. Wait, is that not what it was? It was. Suddenly, I've got all the rules wrong. Wait, starting there satisfies you. Why? You and you. Should I go to the other? I think one of these rules is dependent on the other puzzle, the corresponding puzzle. So hold on, let me see whether nothing is right places are. That and that only. Let's go to the other puzzle. Two tri oh, the two stars are there, all the two triangles are there. Two triangles are there. Mm. Okay, what about here? There, there. Just there and there, okay. Duh, duh. Two triangles. So I want to not go through the spaces where triangles are on the other thing. Does this work? No. But I do want to go through triangles on my own thing. Oh God, it's gonna be something like that. Is there also something like I wanna go through, but also that was flipped, right? Oh my, I think there's gonna be a million different kinds of symmetry going on. So the triangles here with six, triangles are here, so there and there. There and there, okay. Triangles flip horizontally, don't go through them in the flipped horizontally level. Okay, uh, which I'm presuming I've done here. Is there a triangle up on the top left for the last one? Yes, okay. But it's also not starting square, it starts in something to do with the other level. I'm, I think I'm solving this level over there. So effectively, this line, the other line here is the thing that's solving the level. Go from circle to square, go through every star. Go from circle to square, go through every star. And it's going to be the same here. If I put this in and then follow the grayed out one, circle to square, go through every star. That's fun, how it inverts your like interpretation of the rules. Because I thought it was go from square to circle, go through every triangle, but it's actually the opposite. You just have to do it on the flipped over puzzle. <laughs> okay. Um, where are you? Six is the one, right? Six. Go from circle to square through every... Why don't I just put it in? Through every star? Yes. If I put it in and then go to the other one, and then do it all the way around. Yes. But then six uh, needs to be go from circle to square through every star. Uh. Hold on. Circle to square through every star. Oh yeah, that's totally not the thing. Ugh. <laughs> okay, nothing on this puzzle matters. I just, I just have to solve the other puzzle. Okay, okay. 
I was expecting like different shapes might matter in different ways. Like some some of these shapes matter for this puzzle, but others don't. But no, I just have to flip it over. So in this case, it's just two away. So let's do three first. So look at five. <laughs> Circle to square through every star. Do an S shape. Circle to square through every star. S shape. That's apparently what I meant. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then an S shape the other direction. Circle to square through every star from the bottom. Circle to square through every star. And then finally, this one, which just has to be solved with itself. Circle to square. Wait, what does that even mean? I've got to like solve both? Yes. So I'm going to go through there, while also... What? Like that has to... Am I doing both of these? No, what matters is that the, the, the faded outline is in the right place. Yes, okay. Fade outline needs to be in the right place. All right. Holy moly. That was the thing. <laughs> uh, we could do another one. Should we do another one? Um, where to go? That was six. We're starting to run out of numbers. Seven. Eight is done. Nine. Oh, I did question mark, but not nine, ten. What was the question mark? Oh, it's where it was fading out. Yeah, okay, okay. Nine, ten, two with corners. I, I did them all except the last one. I was probably scared of accidentally solving it. Um, what could this be? What could this be? What could this be? Okay. Well, start the circle. Yes. In the square. Yes. Go through every triangle. Yes. Yep. Something else. But yeah, every rule is still satisfied there. Doesn't matter what I do, every other rule except the, the the last one. Okay, yep. So the fourth rule is something about the line going through, like it's something about this shape going through the star. Because no matter what I do, before the circle or after the square, it does not affect the fourth rule. Okay. So if I do this, also doesn't affect the fourth rule. Doesn't affect the fourth rule. Uh, even, well, what else can I try? Uh, what point does the fourth rule stop working? So, works there, doesn't work. Works. Doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. Is it just like distance to the neighboring shapes? Well, two, two, four. Oh, until a corner though. No, I'm, I've done that. I, I remember thinking about this. It wasn't that at all. But if I do that, it fails. Yes. I mean, it sort of works. Distance to a corner or a shape, basically. Oh, it might just be that. That works for all of this. How have I, how did I not think about, I'm sure I did think about that. Uh, uh, yeah, what? It's really simple. <laughs> it's really, really simple. Uh, ooh. Why does that not work? Which one did I mess up? Two, two, two. Oh, that one. Okay. But I could have done. Uh, uh. That's so simple. 
How did I not get that? How did I not get that one? What the hell? Okay. Um, I'm really clearing this up. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is no ten. There's a zero. There's a dash. There's a ghost. Zero dash ghost. Where do I start? I guess let's do them in the order I was doing them. Dashes? Dashes? Okay. Dash, dash. Eight, what was that? Oh, this is about like, the dashes represented shapes of some sort. Those dashes are part of the, <laughs> the tutorial. Slightly confusing, but okay, I'll do that. Okay, it's the same shape as that too. And it's the same shape as that. Uh, no, it's not, that's double. Double dash, Mario Kart double dash. Double dash, well, only one line between the two. This is, Mario Kart single dash horizontal, Mario Kart single dash vertical. But I've, yeah, like, uh, that's double the length of that. This is the same length. Okay, so it's not that. It's something else. This is weird. What are you referencing? This shape? Well, that shape seems to work everywhere. Like, is, is it, am I supposed to, is the whole point of this is that to free my mind from the number of dashes, it's just the overall shape. But then wouldn't that work? Only that works. It's half the shape, half the shape. That's not half the shape though. First ones just don't go through the things, right? I think so. Are there ever more than one in a space? No. Or well, it's not half the shape, it's just do the shape, but only one for each thing. One, one, one. Ah, is it really that simple? Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, sorry. Uh. It really is that simple. Why do they give me so much space? Oh my gosh, okay. All right, uh, I think we'll leave it there and continue with dashes next time. Uh, but I am making some swift progress. Oh, I remember the ghost ones. It was the, I had to write down all the numbers and try. I'm gonna have to do that again, I think. I probably missed something. But okay, we'll try and finish dash next time and we'll move on to ghosts and then we'll do the colored ones and then that should be everything, I think. Unless there's a boss stage or something. Guess we'll find out. Probably not next time, I don't know. How much are we gonna do next time? I've got no idea. But we'll find out soon.